We continue now with the network, powering hybrid work. Now we just heard from Lawrence Wang on the rapid move to Wi-Fi 6E, which is going to increase Wi-Fi efficiency, enable routers and devices to more efficiently use bandwidth. And that additional spectrum that Lawrence talked about, that means more Wi-Fi channels, which is really going to help reduce overlap between networks and make a noticeable difference, especially in crowded places. We're here now with Muhammad Imam, who's Senior Director of Product Management for Catalyst Switching. This is a multi-billion dollar business for Cisco. If you ever listen to Cisco's earnings calls, you'll, you'll hear the CFO, Scott Heron. He'll talk about the Catalyst 9000 and double digit growth and switching. This is the fastest ramping product in Cisco's history. So Mohammed, that's got to make you feel pretty good. Yes, indeed. <laughs> thank you, David. And thank you for having me here. Yeah, great to have you. So uh, look, Catalyst 9000, it's been really successful. What does the 9000X bring to the table for your customers? Yeah, absolutely. And um, uh, indeed, the Catalyst 9000 family of switches have been extremely popular with our customers. As you said, fastest ramping product in Cisco's history. And the last four or five years, we have really evolved the Catalyst 9000 family of switches to a very comprehensive product portfolio, um, addressing the various enterprise use cases that, that, we, um, that we address. But now we see increase in demand on the networks and that really stems from some of the most recent trends that we are seeing, right? Part of it is hybrid workspaces. It's going to be a video dominant hybrid workspace, right? A lot of uh, cases is going to be high definition 4K, 8K videos. We are seeing cloud-based applications everywhere, right? Our, my spreadsheet, it used to be on Excel sheet. Now it's either an Office 365 or a Smart Sheets. Uh, my files used to be on my computer. Now it's on in the Dropbox, right? So these are trends that are really uh, putting pressure on our networks. We are also seeing trends where VR headsets are becoming common. They are being used for trainings and education use cases. WebEx hologram. Um, in certain industries, we are seeing uh, the robotics are becoming more and more popular and they come with a lot of um, applications that are very latency sensitive. And as Lawrence mentioned earlier, Wi-Fi 6E is really making over the ear multi gigabit Wi-Fi possible, right? And for all of these different trends and the recent technologies that, that are evolving, we really need the network that can really address and deliver for these applications. And that's where we are bringing the Catalyst 9000X that addresses the increase in network demand. We are expanding the Catalyst 9000 family with top of line premium introductions in the access layer of the switches of the network, as well as in the aggregation and core layers. So we are bringing 400 gig high speed core and enterprise um, core and edge uh, layers of the network. We are bringing point-to-point -point IP, IPsec security, which will give you 100 gig of IPsec encryption. Um, high density of multi-gigabit, which is becoming very common as we evolve our Wi-Fi networks because we don't want our um, wired infrastructure to be the bottleneck uh, when the wireless infrastructure is capable of going more than a gig. High density of 90 watt powering the smart buildings use cases, right? right. Um, these are all different use cases that are being enabled by the Catalyst 9000 and the Cat new Catalyst 9000X family is really addressing some of these new trends and applications. Well, it's good because the metaverse is coming too. And we, we're, gonna, we're gonna need some help with that, right? <laughs> who, who, know, who knows how much bandwidth we'll need for metaverse, absolutely. I, yeah, guarantee it'll be a lot more. But so I wanna, I wanna hear more about the, the, the new products that you've just launched and maybe how these offerings are gonna help with this new hybrid work model that we've just been discussing. Absolutely. So. Let me start with the Catalyst 9300. We are introducing the Catalyst 9300X, which is the highest density full multi-gigabit platform with 100 gig uplinks and 90 watt of power on every port available, right? That's an industry first 
that we are bringing on the Catalyst 9300 family. Um, it is also capable of one terabit per second of a stacking, which is also unheard of in the industry. This will serve our customers with all the new trends that we talked about, including the hybrid world um, and some of the new trends that are gonna come in the next decade. But 9300X is not just a high-end campus switch. It can also be a lean branch in a box solution where you don't really need an SD-WAN, but you do need an encryption point-to-point -point from the Catalyst 93, from your, from your branch with the Catalyst 9300X to the data center or to the cloud. So for the first time, we are introducing the IPsec-based encryption natively in the hardware. And that means no compromise on performance, and you can get up to 100 gig of encrypted traffic with the Catalyst 9300X. Second is the Catalyst 9400. We are introducing SOUP2 and SOUP2XL with 100 gig uplinks, enhancing the, the scale and performance, giving our customers options for fully loaded line rate multi gigabit port on a 10 slot chassis, right? It'll give you um, two to three times bandwidth boost to your existing line cards since it completely removes the over subscriptions. And you know, the SOUP2 on the Catalyst 9400 is coming up with the version of the ASIC that we used in the past on the Catalyst 9600. That means it's also bringing the core capabilities that we used to, that we today have on 9600 on the Catalyst 9400. And that brings high density 10 gig um, ports on the Catalyst 9400 without over subscription, right? With the core capabilities. Then we have the Catalyst 9600, where we are introducing a supervisor two, which really triples the bandwidth per slot on the Catalyst 9600. It introduces 400 gig uplink and truly drives the transition to, to, to 100 gig in the core. Cat 6K customers uh, with Excel scale requirements, now they can transition <clears throat> to the Cat 9K with Soup2. Um, and by the way, we are also introducing a combo line card on the Catalyst 9600, which means now you don't have to burn uh, a whole slot for your uplink ports. In fact, you can get up to 400 gig of uplink with this new line card. Um, so that's, that's a bunch of things that we are bringing on the Catalyst 9600. In line with Catalyst 9600, we are also introducing Catalyst 9500X, 100 gig box, with 400 gig uplinks in a fixed form factor. And all the benefits that I just talked about on the, on the supervisor two in 9600 is also available in a fixed form factor on Catalyst 9500X. Got it. So that's in summary kind of the multiple uh, product lines that we are introducing. Yeah, so a lot to unpack there. I mean, you, you're, the big theme there of course is optionality. You got a lot of choices for customers. I love the encrypt everything without a trade-off. You know, no performance impact, and anytime you can reduce my oversubscription, it's going to, going to make me happy. You know, Mohammed, we've reported in our breaking analysis segments the importance of custom silicon, and not every company has the resources or the expertise to develop their own silicon. Cisco, of course, does. Catalyst 9K is bringing Silicon One-based products with this launch. Tell us more about that. Why, why is this important? Yeah, that's really exciting development that we have on the Cat9K family. Because you know, the Silicon One is a powerful ASIC that enables high performance and high scale with modern silicon architecture, bringing the architect a converged architecture for switching as well as routing. Cat9K, as we know, has been running on a UADP ASIC, which has been a programmable ASIC. It has served us really well so far on the Cat9K family. But with the, with the Silicon One, we are taking it to another level. Silicon One brings the capabilities of UADP ASIC and unlocks the Excel scale and high performance in the enterprise switches. This is a critical and foundational element to meet the core requirement for the next decade. Silicon One is a 12.8 terabits per second chip, supports up to 10 million routes, supports much deeper buffers, brings multi-slice VOQ architectures, 
With this new architecture, Silicon One ASIC has paved the way to transition the CAT 6K Excel deployments to CAT 9K. Mm -hmm. right? so, so that's kind of the, the, um, the Silicon One uh, importance in the CAT 9K family uh, that we are bringing now. Yeah, and it brings differentiation. A lot of people kind of d d sometimes don't appreciate that, but, but when you have the control like that, you can do things that you might not be able to do with, with off the shelf silicon. But so, but I, I, I want to ask you, what about customers that previously purchased from you as you evolve the portfolio to, to 9KX? How do you protect their investment? Yeah, thank you for asking that question because when we started building the CAT 9K, we always thought about investment protection for our customers. So if you buy today, how you will have a very long life for that, for that product, and you will be able to unlock new powers on that platform that you have purchased maybe five years back, right? And that's exactly what we are doing with the Catalyst 9000X. Uh, 9, Talking about modular, right? On the modular, side, the supervisors that, that, that we are introducing now are backward compatible with the line cards that you already have. In some cases, the line card throughput is doubling and tripling because now you have a new machine that is going to power these line cards, right? So you don't have to change your line card. You just change your supervisor and you have much higher performance and scale with this new supervisor. Similarly, on the stackables, you can stack with the existing Catalyst 9300s, for example. And you will be able to, uh, you don't have to rip and replace everything. It's not a forklift upgrade for our customers. You can continue benefiting from your existing Catalyst 9000 deployments and add to the power with the Catalyst 9000X components, as well as new platforms that we are introducing. Nice, that's key. This just speaks to the software content that you guys, I know you have a lot of software engineers running around and this is, welcome to the 2020s folks, <laughs> new world. You know, I, I, Mohammed, zero trust was kind of a buzzword before the pandemic, but it's really become a mainstream topic today. We talked about the infrastructure. We know security has to be built in from the start. It can't be bolted on and, and zero trust is really top of mind for customers. How are their security requirements changing as a result of hybrid work? And, and how do you make sure that as we shift to hybrid, that these new security requirements are, are addressed? What are you doing there? Absolutely. And we know, as you said, security is top of mind for our customers. In fact, security has been highlighted as the number one reason why a lot of customers pick Cisco and CAT 9K. We have a comprehensive zero trust architecture with software defined access where we started with segmentation and expanded into endpoint classification and visibility. Now we are taking that to the next level and we are introducing Talos powered trust assessment for unmanaged endpoints to further make the, the, the workplace stronger with zero trust and software defined access. Trust analytics, it detects traffic from endpoints that are exhibiting unusual um, behavior by pretending to be um, uh, uh, using a MAG spoofing or probe spoofing or man the middle techniques. When trust analytics detects such anomalies, it signals endpoint analytics to lower the trust score. So we have a trust score system. When the, when the trust score goes down, it shows up on the dashboard. And the network admin can completely deny or limit the access to the network from these endpoints. From another, another security aspect that we are introducing, and I touched on that briefly earlier, is um, for non-SD-WAN internet only branches where we are, where, where services, security services might be in the cloud, right? That's a trend that we are seeing. To secure that connectivity from a lean branch to the cloud, we are introducing the IPsec capability with the Catalyst 9300X. And that's built in as, as we just talked about. And as far as the automation is concerned for these use cases, they are, we are bringing those automation with our command center, the Cisco DNA center. And we are bringing the full life cycle of automation as well as assurance for the secure connectivity that is being provided with the, with the Cisco DNA center. 
Well, a couple of takeaways there for me. I mean, endpoint security has really become much more important uh, for obvious reasons when you have remote workers. The built-in IP sec just that really emphasizes that you got to have it you know, built in from the ground up. You can't just bolt it on. And the automation is key. The number one problem that CISOs face is you know, lack of talent. So automation you know, definitely helps, helps with that. So, okay, Mohammed, thank you so much. Really appreciate you coming on.